when I was in grade school in Canada, and I was six years old, seven years old, I had a friend called Jeffrey Fisher. He was my best friend. He was one of my only friends. Everybody else picked on me or beat me up, but he didn't. He was a big guy, very intelligent, deep voice. He had a manly voice. I remember his voice was so deep, even as a child. He was like a man sent to protect me or keep me company or something, but I feel like he's an angel. Anyway, his name was Jeffrey Fisher, and, and during recess, even if he was in another class or something, we would always hook up at recess and we'd walk the perimeter of the school grounds at a very fast pace. And that's, we'd do this every time. Every recess, we would just go side by side and walk all along the fence, all along all the ground. We'd just keep walking as fast as we could and we talked about life. The most deep, profound stuff about life. It was when you were like seven years old and we talked about the most profound things and he was, it was just this magical, moment of my life and I remember Christmas time came around and the, the kids the, the teacher says everybody needs to bring a gift to put into a pile <clears throat> that's wrapped and nobody says who it's from or what it is but it's a big pile of gifts and then one by one kids would come up and take a gift and my mom made this great gift it was a big big giant toy fire truck whatever it was i don't know it was big it was big and impressive and i said whoever's going to get this is going to be they're going to love this and sure enough there was all these piles of gifts some of them were big and impressive and and they started calling the names one by one and everybody of course took the big boxes first and my name, starting with an R, is at, was at the very end of the list. And, and I was one of the last ones called up. And there was only a few tiny little boxes left. Like small little tiny boxes. And it was getting near recess and nobody cared. Just, just get it done. So I, I got one of the last little boxes. It was a tiny little car, a little Hot Wheels car or something. It was just a cheap little gift. And I, I remember I, I almost cried, or maybe I did cry. It was so sad because I got one of the cheapest, smallest little gifts. And I cried and I was so unhappy. So it was not fair. Everybody else gets the big, fancy, expensive gifts. And Jeffrey came up to me and he said, you don't like it? I realized it was his gift. It's all they could afford. And I remember that to this day, 50 years later, I still remember that. Whatever it is life gives you, no matter how inexpensive it is, no matter how small and insignificant you think it is, it's significant. It means something. And appreciate it for what it is, because it's a gift that has meaning. Even the smallest, most tiny things in life have just as much meaning as the big expensive things. And I still appreciate the simple little things in life. Even silence, even when I, ha even having nothing, even like the gift of silence. Um, anyway, so Jeffrey, if you're out there, I still love you, I still think of you, I, I miss our talks and um, I appreciate the gift and the lesson that came with the gift. And I'm passing it on to others and I hope they're, they're gonna get it too. So, there's my sharing for the day. See you in the next one, bye-bye.